Yes, Shalom, this is your Hebrews like brother, Meshaba, from the city of Detroit. I'd like to give all praises and all honors to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha'akwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful ex. Shalom, welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson is on uh, this art, um, this article, this news clip concerning Ukraine. Now, uh, it's concerning this video concerning you women. Now, what's happening with the, with you women? Well, well, what they're about to start doing is the same thing they're doing over in Ukraine. Remember, these are the same things that's going to be happening over here in America. Okay, remember that. Now, right here, it's saying that what? Women must report for duty in Ukraine. You see, they are starting to hire, they're, they're starting to have, bring into this war thing, you women. Let's read this. Women must report for duty. Ukraine desperately calling girls to fight. You see that? They calling the girls to fight. Okay? Why? Because they're running out of young men. They're running out of young men. You see, they're killing them all off. So why so why would the young females want to go there and be killed off? So when the time comes that there's martial law here in America and they start rounding you young guys up for the draft. They're going to do the same thing as far as you young women here in America. Age 18 through 32. They're going to round y'all up for the draft and send y'all over into Ukraine just as well as the young men. You see? Let's read, this, let's read some of this description. Ukraine has run out of men to die in NATO's war. You see? It's NATO's war. It's NATO's war. And remember, also it's Biden's war. Because Biden and his son has investments, been making much money over in Ukraine. It's, they got big dollars over in Ukraine, the Biden family. And so that's one of the reasons why Biden has been, been sending military aid and monies and the billions over in Ukraine. Because he's trying to protect his investment interests. That's why. That's why. So it's now turning to women. And younger boys to fill the ranks. BlackRock, now BlackRock, that's a they they are in control of so many different organizations, so many different things that they own all over the world. BlackRock is raking in billions, and they are, from the destruction of Ukraine while profiting massively on the rebuilding. You see, on the rebuilding of Ukraine, you see? What a business model. You see that? They consider that a business model. Why? Because in, as far as business is concerned, that is what you would do. You see? That is what you would do. You So, so we, we're going to put some scripture with this. But first, let's check out this here video. Right quick. Check this out. Well, Ukraine has run out of men to die in NATO's war, and now it's turning to women and younger boys to <laughs> fill the ranks. That's right. Uh, we'll get to that part of the story in a second. You can see this headline here, Ukrainian women to be conscripted as the country faces Russian forces. So put a pin in that. We'll come back to it in a second. You Friday see that? Now you see that? That's what's about to happen now. The young women. You see, you, you, you young women are about to be drafted out over into the war, you see, because they're about to start doing the same for you young women that they've been doing for these young males. You see, see this is Isaiah chapter 3, starting in verse 25. Thy men shall fall by the sword. I'm talking about the, the uh, mighty young men, mighty young men of war. They should fall by the sword right here in the neighborhoods. When they declare martial law, they're going to round up a whole lot of people. And they're going to be killing a lot of people. It's going to be a lot of death. They're going to turn 911 off. And when they do, it, that means it's not going to be any ambulance, fire department, or uh, uh, police services. 
these things are going to be shut off. You see, something as simple as a terrorist attack. You see, Putin could could send a um, a a supersonic missile over America with a uh, nuclear bomb or uh, a warhead on the on the head on the tip. Once that would explode 300 miles over America, that would cause an EMP. That would shut down all electricity, natural gas for cooking and heating, as well as uh, running water, gasoline, and food dis- uh, 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 distributions. All these things will come to a grinding halt. You see? You see? The mills will come to a grinding halt. You see? In, in the city. All over the place. All over America. These are the things that's coming, you see. And thy mighty in the war, you see. And thy mighty in the war. They're going to send you young men over in the war. Let's read this in the uh, NLT. Verse 25. The men of the city will be killed with the sword. You see that? Flat out. Killed with the sword. Cut down. The young men are going to be trying to run. And hide. There's nowhere that they're gonna, that, that you're going to be able to hide. When this martial law, they're going to come through. The martial law troops are going to come through from NATO. They're going to come through 10, 15, 20,000 strong combing through the neighborhoods. You're not going to have anywhere to hide. You see. And her warriors and her warriors will die in the battle. Flat out flat out. When these young men, when they round them young men up on them prison buses, them prison buses that they're going to have lined up all along the main streets, all along the side streets, they're going to have those prison buses with the little gates on them, on the windows. So when you see them load up on there, you're not going to see them again. You're not going to see them anymore. They're going to their deaths. They will die in the battle. You see? You see? And so, and some of the young men are going to be took into a FEMA camps. You see, and beaten, and scourged, beaten, whipped, tortured, raped, raped. Yes, raped. The young men are going to be getting raped. You see, and you, you, you young women, when they gather y'all up for the war, they're going to do the same thing to y'all. And her gates shall lament and mourn, you see. Right to y'all faces. Right to y'all faces. It's going to be y'all times, you women. Because y'all not ready for wartime. The men, the young men are not ready for wartime. So you so you know you women, y'all not ready for wartime. But you women, y'all always trying to act, act, act like y'all so hard. Y'all always trying to act like y'all are so much, y'all can do so much more than a man. Y'all can do, do what a man can do. Y'all, y- y'all have always wanted to betray yourselves as if y'all don't need a man. Go on. And that day, when they start drafting you women, you young women, y'all going to wish that y'all were pregnant at the time when they call for the draft for you women because that's going to be about the only thing that's going to stop them from drafting you out to the war, that you will have to be pregnant. That's the only way for you and young women. And she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. You see? She'll sit upon the ground, you young women. You see? Y'all hit. Y'all hit with what the Lord's gonna do. You see? And and and, and y'all had much time to get it together. You see? But y'all chose not to. Y'all chose to do everything but get y'all selves together. You see. And so, you young women, y'all hit. This is 2nd Exodus chapter 16, start at verse 33. The virgin shall mourn. You, that's you young women. And, and this here in the Hebrew, this word virgin, we'll be talking about just simply a young, a, a young woman, a woman. You young women. Y'all young women, y'all gonna mourn. Because y'all not gonna have any more of the white man's system to hold y'all up. All your food stamps going to be gone, your Section 8, your WIC, all these things of the, the, of the system, the head start, the job head start, and all this career training, all these different things that the white man set up for y'all are going to be no more. 
They're going to watch the way y'all are going to mourn. You know, your, your, your paychecks from your jobs, all this going to be gone. All the jobs are going to be shut down. The, the uh, America is going to be shut down. It's going to be martial law. Y'all ain't going to be able to even go to work. And, you, and your sugar daddies, all this going to be shut down. You see, the government, the, the, the U.S. government is going to be shut down. So ain't nobody's going to get no uh, uh, SSI or disability checks. It's going to be horrible. Everybody's going to everybody's going to be affected one way or another. You see. Having no bridegrooms. You see, y'all not going to have any bridegrooms. That means your young men, they're going to be taken away to the war. They're going to be taken away. And so are you. You see. The women shall mourn having no husbands. You see? Having no husbands. Y'all not going to have no husbands. Y'all husband's going to be gone. Y'all took the time to do the right thing and got married and what he's going to be taken away from you anyway. You see? Anyway. And killed. And killed. You see? Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. You young women, y'all not going to have no helpers. Y'all going to be completely on your own. And you ain't going to be able to be able to go out and prostitute, lay on your backs, have sex, and make some money. Because all that's going to be over with. You women, y'all going to be doing the time of martial law. It's going to be the time of Jacob's troubles. Okay? The time of Jacob's troubles. You women are not going to be able to come outside wearing your, your sexy, skimpy little outfits or going home. You can get snatched up by some orders. Marauders. I mean... Some marauders gonna uh, 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 snatch you up, and some and some robbers, okay, gonna snatch you up, kidnap you, human traffic you. You will not make it back home to your children. Your children gonna wind up being there at home, waiting, hoping that you gonna return, and you will never ever return. Jacob's troubles, baby, got you. You see. Verse 34, in the wars, wars, because we're going to be wars all over the place. It's going to be World War III. War, 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 wars going on all over the place, everywhere, even in the neighborhoods. Gunfights, shootouts, you know, between the uh, uh, the uh, uh, martial law police and the young fellas in the neighborhoods and the militia groups, all the different things. They're going to be touching off, you see. In the wars, share their bridegrooms be destroyed. That means they're going to be killed. The young men are going to be killed. Mighty young men of war are going to be killed. They're not coming back. They're not coming back. They're gone. And their husbands shall perish of famine. You see? They're going to starve to death. There ain't going to be no food. All the food in the grocery stores, convenience stores, um, uh, gas stations, and all this thing, the party stores, liquor stores, all that's going to be raided and looted and gone. Busted in, burning, and on fire. All these things are going to be happening. There's going to be all kinds of smoke in the air. And the smoke, in the smoke is going to be the soot. All the poisonous chemicals burning. You see? And, and when one house catch on fire, smoke is all over the neighborhood. Imagine the whole neighborhood on fire. Ain't going to be no, no, no fire department services, no ambulance or police services. These things are going to be gone. Verse uh, 35. You see? Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. You see, because uh, us servants of the Lord, we know, we are good shepherds of the Lord. We know and understand what these things that we see happening uh, before our very eyes. We know they, what, what they mean. These are prophecies of the Lord playing out. You see, the wicked can't understand that. The wicked don't even know what's going on. They stumbling in the dark. They they on they on a slippery a slope, and they stumble in the darkness, and they don't even know why. You see, and and you, and you can't explain it to them because it's not it's not fathom, fathomable upon their minds. You see, they can't see this truth, they can't hear this truth, and they can't even think of the and the, with, with, and having the understanding of this truth. They hit. They hit. Two thirds. They hit. Verse 36. Behold, the word of the Lord. Receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, 
The plagues draw nigh and are not slack. They're not slack. You see, the people believe in all these false gods, all these different things, all these different uh, 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 um, uh, 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 false doctrines that's out there that they want to believe. You see, these seducing women, you see, of wickedness. You see, verse 38, as when a woman with child, the ninth month, brings forth her son. With two or three hours of her birth, great pains compass her womb. And that's what America is going through, the great pains. Great pains is happening to America. America is about to give, give birth to all our chaos and war. In her menstrual, she does bring forth monsters. Uh, uh, Sirach chapter uh, what, 25, verse 24. Okay, that's America, right? We can apply that. Like that. You see, America about to give birth to what? Chaos. World War Three, Jacob's troubles. You see? Which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so, shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. Because the plagues are coming, baby. It's all part of prophecy. You can look forward to it. You, look, you can look forward to it. They're going to play out these things. And the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. You see? That's on every side. Every side. We're going to take this time to remind you to press the like button. Okay, press the like button. This helps out for the algorithms of this YouTube channel, if you would, please. Baba Gasha. And also, if you would, press the subscription button. If you haven't already, press go ahead and press the, the subscription button and then the notification bell. So that way you will receive special notification alerts each time that I release a new video for your spiritual edification. Okay? The water. And also, hopefully, this video will provoke you to thought. And maybe you may see uh, some precepts or something or whatever that you, maybe you might, uh, uh, or, or, or precepts that may come to mind that you can use to put together a video that you can use to help feed the sheep. As good shepherds of the Lord, our job, as always, is to feed the sheep. Okay? And so, throw out for that. Now, let's get back into this. Okay, this is verse 40. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make ye ready to the battle. What battle? The battle that we are in. Righteousness against wickedness. Esau is Edom against Jacob. You see? You see? Against Jacob. These are the things that's going on right now. You see? And we're in it. We're in this fight. We're in this battle. Whether you like it or not, you're in it. You see? And in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. And that's what we ought to be like. That means you're ready to lift up and go. Ready to let go of what? This society and come out from amongst them. Because guess what? All is vanity and everything that is that which you have is going to be destroyed. You can't hold on to anything that you have. It, it, it's all going to be destroyed, especially when your house I get here. You see? So don't cherish your things. Don't even cherish them. Verse 41. He that sell it. Let him be as he that fleeth away. You see? Because you, you, you're not holding on to anything. You, you, you're not receiving any benefit from it. It's all vanity. He that buyeth as one that will lose. Because you're buying something that's go, that, that eventually, one way or another, is going is in your possession now. But the time is coming when it's not going to be in your possession. You see? You're only going to lose it. You see? Verse 42. I'm going to read a few more of these and close it out. He that occupieth merchandise, as he that had no profit, buy it. Because what is the profit of what you get? How is it going to benefit you? And for how long? Is it going to sustain you? Is it going to uphold you like the kingdom of heaven? Compare it to the kingdom of heaven. Is it going to last? Or is it like everything else here in this white man's kingdom? 
temporary. Everything is temporary. It's not going to last forever. Don't don't try to cherish your uh, whatever wealth or whatever that you have here in this white man's kingdom because it's all vanity. And at any moment, you, you, your little paper note dollars can be all burnt up or just worthless by the other nations declaring that your American dollar is no good. Then it's worthless. Just like that. And he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. Because you're not. You can build it, you can have it, but as long as you gotta pay taxes on it, it's not yours. At any moment it's still they can take it. Everything is designed that this way in Esau is Edom's kingdom. Do you own anything? Do you really? Do you really? You see? Verse 43, he that soweth as if he should not reap, because all is vanity. No matter what you reap, it's the same as you not reaping, because it all vanishes away from you. All of it is designed that way. And so, so, that, so that way you can't keep nothing. Remember your toys from way back when you was a child? Do you have any of them now? As if he should not reap, so also he that planted the vineyard, as he that shall not gather the grapes. You see? You see? And that's just simply the way it is. You can make wine, and it can be the sweetest of wine. Enjoy it. But how does it affect your stomach? How does it make you feel? You see, verse 44. They that marry as they that shall that shall get no children. Why? Because, because the children are taken up in the war and beat, raped, killed, or they're they're taken, kidnapped, and then re-educated to hate their own kind, you see, and for them to accept another uh, way of being and understanding. And they that marry not as the widows, you see, and therefore they that labor, labor in vain. That's all you're doing. I know some guys that are working on houses right now. They Oh, they, they they gathering this and gathering that, and they doing clean outs, and they, they hoarding every, everything that they can to themselves one way or another. But it's all in vain. It's all in vain. I bought a house from the land bank. I worked on it for five years. They never gave me a completion. And then in the end, the house burned up. I lost it all. It was all in vain. It was all in vain, all in vain. For strangers, verse 46, for strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods, overthrow their houses, and take their children captive. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. They're going to take your children. They're going to eat your children. You see? You see? All these are prophecies of things that are coming, that are on this way. Us Hebrew Israelites, we're not speaking weird things to you people who tune into our channels and you don't even know what's going up. You're, you're wacky tacky Christians talking about you want to debate and all this type of mess. It's not about debating. When Yahweh Shai came, it, it wasn't about him debating. He came teaching. He wasn't trying to set up no debates. Yeah, I'm a debater about a debate against you and I'm a debater against No, 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 no. Others came trying to attack him with 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 different uh, uh, things that they thought they knew, but he quickly uh, corrected them because he is the truth, the knowledge, and the way. You see, and the light, and the light. Verse forty-seven, and they that occupied their merchandise with robbery, I mean, stole. You got your merchandise by stealing from others. The more they decked their cities their houses, their possessions, and their own persons, the more will I be angry with them. 
for their sins, saith the Lord. You see? Thus saith the Lord. You see? Now, guess what? We're going to read a few more of these and close it out. You see? The Lord, he, he's angry. He's angry. He don't have no care for them. Behold, 49. Look, me uh, alike as a whore. Like as a whore envieth a right, honest, and a virtuous woman, so shall righteousness hate iniquity when she decketh herself and shall accuse her to her face when he cometh that shall defend him that diligently, diligently searches out every sin upon earth. You see? You see? So the Lord is going to defend us. He's going to care for us. And he's going to make sure that we are, we are provided for. That we are taken care of. And that we are shielded. And that we have protection. And that we, that we have it all. That we have it. And, and, and for some of you, right now, for some of us, for most of us, right now, your highway is providing for us a safe place, a hidden place, a place where there's food and water. Or for, for, some, for some of us, he's just going to materialize food and water right in front of us. For, for those of us who don't have extra stocked up. You see, so no matter what, you're going to be taken care of. Thus saith the Lord. You're going to be taken care of. You see? And therefore, be ye not like thereunto, nor to the works thereof, for yet a little and iniquity shall be taken away out of the earth, and a righteousness shall reign among you. You see? You see? You see? So we're going to go ahead and end the video off right there. We didn't want the video to go off uh, too long. We just wanted to make a short little video concerning you women and basically you women uh, and how y'all are about to go through the seriousness of of being drafted out to the war. You see, women must report for duty. And that's what it is now. That's what it is. That's what's happening for you women. Y'all can look forward to it. You see? Well, Ukraine has run out of men to die in NATO's war. And now it's turning to women and younger boys to fill the ranks. That's right. Uh, we'll get to that part of the story. To see. You see? That's what time it is now. It's time for you young women. They about to start drafting you young women. Y'all going to be drafted over there to the war in Ukraine. Just like the young men, age 18 through 32. Look forward to it. This is coming to America. Now, this is this has been your Hebrews like brother here in the city of Detroit. Okay, hopefully, Lord's willing, you were edified by today's lesson. Okay, and maybe, hopefully, you were provoked to thought about what you need to do concerning your work that you're supposed to be doing for your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, so so that so that you can be shielded away from the harsh times that are coming. We're gonna need your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, cause it's about to get crazy. Not only for you young men, but also for you young women. And so, so, so we're going to go ahead and close it on out. And uh, uh, we'd like to give all praises and all honors to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth, peace, and salutations to the hopeful elects. Shalom. To the hopeful elects.